Have you ever been scored on in the game and a striker reacts like this? Welcome back to another Goalkeeper GoPro video. This time we have our semifinals coming up in our Sunday League for $2,500. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and to give some background about myself. I've been recording every single game that I've played over summer and then now my indoor session with my first year playing as a goalkeeper. So we're going into this matchup blind. We've never seen this team play. We have also never played against them. Uh, as you can see from that first initial clip, things a little bit intense and I'm sure if you stay for the rest of the video, you're going to see how intense things really got anyway let's get into the action um not much to say literally first minute of game our first attack we ended up getting our first goal When you score this quick, I feel like you automatically shift to a mindset like, wow, this might be one of the more easier games that we played. And at the start, it was. Put into perspective how good we're doing, these are 20 minute halves, and by the time it was 2-0, that was around 8 minutes and still 25 seconds left. We were cooking, but we soon to find out that just because we're up 2-0 doesn't mean anything. Oh, they also started to get a, a little tad bit dirty too. Over top ball. Right a step run! If I had to say the one thing we would struggle with against this team was that their press was relentless. Uh, I I'd never seen people with as good as gas tanks as this in a Sunday league in my entire life. It was just nonstop. Shift, quick. Middle two. So this team was notorious all season long with trying to get forfeit wins, trying to get players removed because if their number didn't match the ID, what was on the back of their jersey, etc. So one of our guys came in, they halted the game because they wanted to check his ID. Now on the official paper, his number was wrong. His number all year has been 31 and on his ID, it was number 31. This took 17 minutes to get clarification and for the game to get started back up. And yes, that is what it looks like when you have two clips that are that long, that are sped up a hundred times speed. It took that long to get it finished up. Anyway, to get my thoughts on it, we definitely went ice cold after this. I think we're all like a little bit rattled too. I don't know if it was mind games, but it definitely threw us off our game. We didn't have the same mojo that we had towards the start. And then just a few minutes after the whole Jersey debacle, they ended up getting their first goal, which was just a crazy impossible angle. You can't see it with the camera, though. I see a common trend in this video. Every single goal they scored was either off a deflection coming off of one of the walls or myself or just like tap-ins from right in front of me. I did a very poor job this game in stopping my one-on-ones. Open. And then, after off the deflection of my save, they got goal number two, and you can hear the screeching sound of the celebration. No turn this way. Now, if there's one thing I like about recording my games, it's for moments like this. You haven't won the game yet, you just tied it up, and that's your reaction in front of my face. So each time this happens, I always hope and pray that they end up losing because it makes for a good video. So after that second goal, there really wasn't much that they were doing to close out the rest of the first half, but there's only about a minute left. So going to the second half, things were all tied up at two apiece. There wasn't much action to start, then this happens. 
After watching it multiple times, I, I definitely think he did have the intention of going and making a play on the ball, but it was just a follow through with the knee. And then he walked off kind of just like waving his hand like he knew like what he just did. So I was very pissed off about that. Uh, there's been many times in this league where I've had the ball been kicked while I was down multiple different things and nothing is ever called. And then Benji secured his hat trick by putting us up 3-2. But we ended up falling asleep on the back end, and they were able to equalize about a couple minutes after. Two fancy, middle, two middle. Yo, yo. A couple things on that play. Initially, the pass, just very unlucky. Went through my boy Amon's legs, hit his foot, and actually teed up the ball perfectly for a through ball. I was calling out the middle, not calling out the back post. That's why Rod wasn't really aware of it. And then, of course, in a one-on-one, -on -one, I should have just dove to the right instead of trying to rely on my feet to be able to stretch out and get that. Also, this goal was scored with about 3 minutes and 30 seconds left. There's no extra time in the playoffs, in the quarterfinals, the semifinals. It goes straight to PKs. So, I was already starting to envision the penalty shootout in mind, predicting everything, trying to get a read of where the players will go who have taken shots throughout the game. As you can see, I didn't have to worry about penalties because we ended up scoring directly off of the kickoff, but now it was time to hold on to the lead. And I attempted something I've wanted to do this entire indoor session, never had the chance to. I almost scored off a throw from my box, which would have counted as a goal for me. Hey, you're holding, you're holding. And this right here is what really set me off. Uh, he does not make a play for the ball. You just see him midair completely turn, lower his shoulder, and try to knock me out of the air. But the issue is this guy is five foot one. I'm at least 5'10", and I'm like 200 pounds. Oh, look. He even gave Amon a little flip of the bird after the whistle. The whistle blew. The whistle blew. Just wait. Them playing sloppy doesn't end there. After a couple red cards, a couple blue cards, with only 14 seconds left, we're able to secure the finals spot where if we get first place, we get 2,500. If we play second, we get $1,100. That's going down this Sunday, so I'll make sure to have a video win or loss coming from that final. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, like the video, and we get the job done. Bye!